Hi, I'm Chef Kumar. You guys probably know me from social media as Catch Kumar. And today I'm at my Talos house and we're cooking Indian food. Indian. What do we have for Indian? We have lamb karai. I did that a little bit earlier today. We're doing chicken tikka masala. And in the pot here is gonna be uh, jira basmati rice. We got everything prepped over here. We got our tomatoes, we got our onion, we got garlic, we got ginger, we got coriander, we got some butter. I got all the herbs over here, ready to go, all the spices. We got cumin, we got tandoori masala, we got uh, garam masala, we got coriander, we got bay leaves. We got fennel, which is known as jira, our basmati rice, and then in this bag, we got secrets in here. This is a pot of gold, secrets. And so, you guys have to come along on this wonderful treasure discovery. We're gonna make a wonderful dish. So we got the tandoori chicken that's been seasoned from beforehand, 24 hour marinade. We've heated up the oil, coconut oil is important. And now I'm gonna lower the heat down just a little bit cause we don't want any splatter, okay? So the true way of doing this is not no Western. We gotta take our hands and we gotta take the chicken and we gotta put it in. And if you get a little bit of burn, it's okay. So that's the love. And this is uh, chicken chicken thigh. I boneless boneless it. Right. Chicken until it has a nice little brown color to it, and you can see it's still it's still frying down. Once you get a nice brown outside layer to it, then we'll take it off the stove. We're gonna keep all this fat, that's the render from the chicken. And then we're gonna use that as the base to start to create our masala. And the key to Indian food, butter. Isn't that similar to like pretty well everything else that we cook? Butter guys, butter. Okay guys, so we got the butter in the pot with oil and then we have our little mixture of seeds. So in, in this little pack here, we have um, clove, we have uh, cardamom, we have uh, mustard seeds, we have, Barb, what was the other one we said it was? Coriander. Coriander and then the uh, the oil. What was the name of that oil? Canola. Yeah, um, and we're gonna add that in there. Not everything. All right. So we're gonna warm up the seeds. You can put, people probably have said that, you probably seen on YouTube, they talk about you gotta warm up the seeds to release the aromas and whatnot. You gotta warm it up. And that froth is the butter, the country churn butter. Next step is we're gonna add onions. Ready? Into the pot. We're gonna add three quarters of the uh, ginger that I ground up. Finely ground, right? That's important. They say, why? Why is it finely grown? because you want to make sure that it dilutes into the curd because we don't like whole stuff, right? And that's it for now until it fries down. We're going to warm this up again. That word, warming up. We're going to toast the onions and get a little bit brown. All right, so the next step is we're going to take all our masalas that we put together so you know the interesting fact you know when they call it masala you know what masala means it's a combination of different spices together masala all right ready into the pot into the pot can you smell that it smells like gold i don't know if gold has a smell to it we got a little bit more we can't waste that Okay. Step, ready? Tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. So we add fresh tomatoes. Along with the fresh tomatoes, not yet though. I gotta cook this down just a little bit. Along with the fresh tomatoes, we're gonna add tomato paste. Or not tomato paste, our tomato uh, sauce or puree. All right, so as I was saying earlier, so we add fresh tomatoes and then we add like a tomato sauce to it. Here you go. Here's the tomato sauce. Okay. 
Now, at this point, we have to cook this down. As any other type of tomato sauce, you have to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes. And once it starts to release, you'll see the water starting to release on top. Then we'll revisit it. Okay, so the next dish we're going to make is to complement, obviously, our, our gravy dishes, which is a jira rice. So in my hand here, we have um, jira, which is uh, fennel seeds. we got mustard seeds. We're going to take this. We're going to warm it up. And fry it, warm it up. A little bit of onion. And just a little bit. People don't put ginger, but I like ginger and everything. And we got bay leaves. Two bay leaves from the far away. Pick up. And we take our spoon. And in this pot we had uh, butter, lots of butter because obviously butter goes as far away for every bit, and a little bit of uh, coconut oil. Alright, so now as you guys can see, the onions turn nice brown, shriveled up, right? The, the seeds inside here have turned golden in color. We're going to add the rice in next. One cup. i got to get to the bag over here. There's about four of us, and I like eating rice. We got some naan as well, but two cups and just a little bit. Yeah, I guess I did a good average in this bag. All right, and then it's time to fry the rice. A friend asked me, he says to me, he goes, I've never heard of anybody fry rice. I said to him a few days ago, I'm like, you know what? We can fry risotto. He says, no, no, no. It must be an Indian thing. It's not an Italian thing. But yeah, you fry the rice until it goes translucent. They make rice palaf the same way, Spanish people. And uh, West Indian people make uh, cook up rice, they call it, which is like fried rice. And they, until it's like translucent in color. And then they add the meat to it, they add water to boil it. And then they add meat to it and cook it down with coconut milk. I can't remember anything. All right, so we reached the point where we're gonna add the water into this rice, okay? Two and a half cups. So two, two cups of rice, two and a half cups of water. And low heat. The next thing, aside from butter, is whipping cream. You go big or you go home. 35% baby. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna reserve that much. I'm gonna stir this up, let's see. Does it look a little bit like the uh, how they do it in the restaurants? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's gonna taste just as good. So as you can see here, the texture consistency of our base or our gravy, if you will, is pretty well almost there. I cooked the, um, I fried the chicken down maybe 80% way, 90% way, it's edible. And we're gonna add this into the sauce. And give it a nice stir. cook this down for about another 10 minutes. All right, so the last step, we finished up. If you go over here, I plated already the, uh, the chicken. Looks beautiful, tastes just as good. We got the lamb. We got the rice over here. And now what I did was I took the uh, naan, I buttered it up a little bit, and we're just gonna warm it up in the pan and uh, get a nice little crisp onto it. So this should be warm. So usually it's about a minute on each side once it warms up. And then when we're done, we'll be uh, eating. All right, guys, as you can see here, we got the whole serving ready to go. We got naan bread. We got our chicken, chicken tikka. We got our, uh, we call it curry gosh, so we call it curry, curry lamb. 
And uh, we got our Jira rice. And we're gonna chow down, baby. <laughs> 